All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, this is something a little different. Do a little vlog for you guys. Now, the biggest thing, the biggest problem that I see in people that comes to working out is how do I build muscle the best way and the most efficient way possible? And honestly, it's pre pretty easy. Three easy steps. It's not that hard. I think the biggest problem that people make when it comes to working out is that we make it super complicated okay i need to do crossfit i need to do bodybuilding i need to do 10 sets of 10 eight sets of eight i need to um you know only do bicep curls or push-ups okay I, all that lot of that stuff does work if you do it the right way but it's pretty easy if you're, if you're a beginner if you're a beginner you want to build muscle most efficient way one compound lifts lifts bench press deadlift uh bent over rows pull-ups shoulder press um, push-ups, squats, stuff like that, those compound lifts are the most beneficial when it comes to lifting weights, it comes to getting stronger, sorry. Those exercises are the best, because the best part about a compound lift, the reason it's called a compound, because it works mu multiple muscle groups. For instance, you're doing a bench press, okay? For instance, bench press works your chest, your shoulders, your triceps, and your back all at the same time. That's the best part about a bench press. That's why it's called a compound lift. So you don't, if you're a beginner, you don't have to do the chest flies and all that stuff. Same thing with the push-up. The push-up does the same exact thing. So focus on the compound lifts. If you're a beginner, you want to get in shape, I would focus on doing compound lifts at least, um, you know, full body compound lifts four to five times a week. I would start off maybe actually four times a week. Get your time, body to rest. Don't kill yourself. Run was built in a day. Second reason, the second way, as a matter of fact, to say that, the second way to, you know, get in better shape, build muscle, is the amount, the supplements you're taking. Now, when I mean supplements, I also mean food in this. Eating high protein rich foods. If you want to gain weight, you want to gain muscle, you want to at least, see what your body weight is, times by at least 0.6 if you're trying to gain weight if you're skinny. Um, protein helps. It, it's the building block of muscle. Of muscle. I found that the most beneficial, whenever I increased my protein, because I was very skinny after I graduated high school, I wanted to gain weight, I wanted to get in better shape, I wanted to be stronger. I increased my protein intake, start drinking more supplementing protein shakes, definitely helps. Um, but nothing is better than food. So your eggs, your chicken, your ground beef, your steak, things like that definitely help. Um, and also your water intake. Water is extremely important. You drink at least a gallon of water a day. You want to keep hydrated. Since you're doing heavy lifts like your bench press or squat, you're constantly pushing the water out of your muscles. So you want to focus on that. Also, a lot of foods that are uh, leafy green, so your kale, your spinach, your broccoli. Um, salad's great, but you want like that kale or spinach. A lot more magnesium, a lot more zinc um, in those type of leafy green foods. Um, that's the second thing. Step three. Um, you know, the, the third thing you probably should be doing is make sure you're getting enough sleep. Sleep is extremely important. If you're an adult from at least from the age of like, you know, 20 to 30 and you're trying to get in better shape, seven to nine hours of sleep is beneficial. Sometimes I don't follow that because I sometimes I fall asleep by 10 and get up at five and I go run. Um, I fall asleep by 11, get up at five or four and go run. I understand I'm kind of, you know, not following my own vice. But the one thing I need to prove on is getting better in quality sleep. And if you're working out hard enough, you have a full day of work and you're working out hard enough, hard enough trust me, you'll fall asleep like a baby. Um, if you have any issues with sleeping, you know, go to a doctor, go to your physician, take melatonin. I'm not a doctor, um, I'm not a physician, but those things that I definitely, that help me, you know, get better sleep. Uh, more exercise, melatonin, um, or even like some types of herbal sleepy time tea, that stuff helps. But Remember, it's not rocket science when it comes to working out and getting better shape. You learn the basics in gym class. You learn how to do body squats, uh, push-ups, pull-ups. Those are like the grandfather exercises to the the squat, the uh, the, the the bench press, the um, bent over row. Remember the basics. Do those things four times a week. Do those. You know six to seven exercises hopefully i named six to seven um they do those exercises at least you know three to ten four to ten uh your working sets four uh four uh, sets ten reps each uh, constantly do that stuff that would definitely definitely help but um 
yeah, like I said, if you want more advice like this, more fitness advice, more workouts, I'll be posting more and more frequently. Um, remember, hit that like and subscribe button. I'm definitely here to help you guys out. Anything you guys need workout-wise. But uh, I'll talk to you guys soon. Like I said, the next workout hopefully would be... I'll show you guys, uh, actually, you know, since I'm talking about full body compound lifts, the next video I will post would be um, after I do my uh, shoulder, back, and leg workout and speed workout, I would do a full body compound lift. So that's coming next. But uh, until the next one, I'll see you guys later on the way to work. You guys have a great rest of your day. Please hit that like and subscribe button, and I'll talk to you guys soon.